Good morning, friends. We just finished breakfast at Cabanas, and today is a bittersweet day because it is our last full day on the Disney Wonder. Uh, today we are in Ensenada, Mexico. We are doing an adults-only wine excursion. All four of us are going. It's about a four-hour excursion. Uh, we're about to leave the boat, and of course, we're taking you guys along with us. You'll see down here in the lobby, we have the princess gathering going on where there are different Disney princesses that you can get a ticket to get your photo with. We are officially off the ship, here waiting for our adult-only wine tour excursion. Either by me, uh, my name is Pedro, or our driver, he's Jesus. Jesus will take very good care of us. So we are at the El Cheto uh, Winery. This is the largest winery in all of Mexico, producing about 60% of all Mexican wine. Uh, it's absolutely huge. You can see we are in the oak aging area right now. Just amazing and huge, huge, huge barrels. The smell in here is amazing. see Sherry's grabbing some photos. We have the big barrels here, kind of the medium-sized barrels there, and then the smaller barrels over there, and they just go absolutely forever. What do you think, Sherry Beth? It smells so good in here. This winery has about 3,000 acres um, of vineyards that they have in the area, and they produce about 13 million, 14 million, something like that, bottles a year, but it is an absolutely massive operation. And now we're heading to what I believe is the most important part, the tasting room. Okay, so look, I will explain you. The bread is for you. The bread is for local bakery. No, it's okay. We don't need to cheers. You can just drink it. <laughs> So the wine tasting was absolutely delicious. Now we are here in the store getting to choose the wines that we want to bring home. Sherry Beth, what are we bringing back? Uh, some of that olive oil. Olive oil they have here they make, which was really good. And then we found a bottle of Vignet, which is one of our favorites. But we are finished at winery number one. We bought some olive oil and a bottle of wine, and now we are heading to the second winery on our tour. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but it looks like maybe some kind of Miss Mexico pageant. All of the girls getting off the bus, waving as they get off. There's a camera crew over here. So we're now at the second winery. This is a much smaller organic winery, uh, but they supposedly have some great wines. But also in here, they have lots of jams, lots of jellies, different hot sauces, foods. I'm gonna like this place a lot. So we're having the first wine here. Sherry, you've already tried it. How is it? It's really good. Sweet? Very like Berries. You'll see here we're also sampling a bunch of breads, cheeses, and hot sauces that they make right here. I'm pretty excited about these. Sherry Beth, which one are you gonna try? All of them? Yeah. 
and also on this tour we get a slice of pizza. So you guys, the adults only uh, wine tour is like $40 uh, through Disney as an excursion. So worth it. Unbelievable. We've had pizza, we've had jams, we've had, let's see, four, we'll have tried eight wines. Uh, breads and cheeses. Breads and cheeses. Um, it's just been amazing, like a 45 minute bus ride up there. So if you are doing the uh, Mexican tour out of San Diego, if you're stopping in Ensenada, I cannot recommend the adults only wine tour enough. Do it. I would actually do this, if we get back to Ensenada, I would do this again in a heartbeat. Uh, the scenery is beautiful, the bus ride's really nice, you get to learn some of the history of the land. This has been great. Plus, the place we're at, I picked up this uh, peach juice. It's unbelievable. It's like literally just peach juice. It's amazing. So we have loved this. Definitely would recommend this excursion through Disney. Um, it's great. You guys, look how unbelievably beautiful this location is with the vineyard out there, just like these beautiful awnings here, a bunch of tables to sit at and relax and drink wine. This is perfection. So we're back from our excursion. Now we're just kind of exploring this little shop area right outside the cruise ship before we get back on board. Just making sure there's nothing that we uh, definitely need to bring with us back home. Well, we're back at the Disney Wonder and Sonata. You actually were a lot of fun. I'm really glad that we did that excursion. Now that we're back on the boat and it's the last day, something really sad has to start happening, you guys. Now we start taking everything off our door because we have to start packing. We are not happy about this situation. Also, we wanna show you how great this worked for us uh, so you can bring it on your upcoming Disney cruise too. We bought one of these little pop-up hampers. Sometimes they sell them for like college dorm rooms and stuff and it fit perfectly in there. And being able to just put our dirty clothes in there was so, so nice. Because on past cruises, we always had to have like one suitcase or bag out to put dirty clothes in. And this way it was like away, we could close the closet door. We didn't have to have a suitcase out. So I've got to say, we're huge believers on those pop-up hampers for your cruise room. Sherry's filling out her gratuity cards so we can give them to our room host, to our servers, and the people who have served us so well while we've been on the ship. The way that gratuities work is that on the last night, you're given envelopes for you to give those people. There's like a recommended gratuity that will automatically be given if you don't uh, want to give more or give less, which you can do if you go to guest services and change the amount. We did have great service on the ship, so we actually are giving more to one person uh, we're giving the recommended gratuity to everybody else. But Disney always does such an amazing job when it comes to service. Everybody on the ship is just so friendly and you just feel, you just feel like so well taken care of. So we made pretty good progress. Here are three suitcases and one duffel bag. So four bags total that we are having taken off the ship for us. Sherry, I think we did pretty good when it comes to packing. I think we did. I did not know if we were gonna be able to fit it all back in the suitcases. I felt like the fish extender gifts we got were a lot more than we brought for sure. And I was kind of panicking, but it actually worked out pretty good. Now we're gonna go explore the ship a little bit more since tonight's our last night. Tonight we have Disney Dreams, uh, which is one of their Broadway style shows. And then we have dinner at Tiana's Place again, which is super duper fun. Uh, as you guys may know, if you've been watching, we were going to do Paulo for dinner tonight, but Ida, who we're traveling with, actually did not feel, ver uh, feel very well the first night. So she got to miss Tiana's. No one should miss Tiana's. So we canceled our Apollo uh, dinner reservations tonight. We're all gonna eat together in um, Tiana's place. You know, we had Paulo earlier this trip on the brunch and we've done Paulo dinner before. So we decided, you know what, let's all be together. And um, plus we've never done Tiana's place twice on one ship, so, or twice on one sailing. So pretty excited about Tiana's again. And I don't think I showed you guys earlier, but here is what it looks like when you're docked in Ensenada. You can see the town over there. Uh, they have shuttles that actually take you into the downtown area because the downtown area is a little bit over that way, I believe. So it's kind of a far walk. 
So it's really nice that they offer shuttle services over there. You'll see there's a Carnival ship docked here as well. Uh, they said that they normally have about four ships every week that come into Ensenada year round here. So it is a pretty busy port town. And we still have about 45 minutes until all aboard when everybody has to be on the ship because we are leaving. So you'll see the last few people kind of approaching the ship getting back on this is pretty neat you guys there are about 30 sea lions just right out here just across from the ship uh, we've heard them barking for a while and there's a big pot of them there there's one over there just kind of enjoying the sun swimming around sure are you gonna miss being aboard the disney wonder yeah it's always it's always sad to see the ship go isn't it yeah you can see the mural here of little mermaid all the scene right there so awesome. Here's an even better view of those sea lions. I'm up here on deck nine at the front of the Wonder and uh, basically looking right down on them. Look at how cool that is. You can see the lines of the boat starting to be lowered. And now they all take off in the water. From here at the back of the Wonder, we get a pretty good view of the Carnival Inspiration that is also docked here in Ensenada. Sure, and I have never cruised anyone except for Disney because we just think Disney is so perfect. But eventually, we do want to try Royal Caribbean and Carnival just to just to compare. We are officially moving, and our time in Mexico has come to an end. But what a great first Mexican cruise this has been! I never get tired of that horn. So you guys, a bit of a catastrophe uh, here as far as vlogging goes. So we vlog on a Sony RX100 uh, Mark III. We were in the Walt Disney Theater watching Disney Dreams, had the camera with me, I dropped it on the floor and our viewfinder, like the entire back of the camera snapped off. Honestly, I kind of freaked out because I'm like, we still got two days of vacation left. We still have the end of our Disney cruise vlogs. How am I gonna record? Like I'm gonna have to use my phone. Um, but I just tried to record a test clip, even though I can't see anything. So I'm sorry if it's blurry, put it on my computer and the clip worked fine. So I think I'm gonna try to vlog without being able to see myself, which is really weird for me but crisis averted fingers crossed i hoped uh and we're gonna be able to capture the rest of our disney cruise i'm not gonna lie my port heart is still going crazy <laughs> So we are at the Till We Meet Again party here in the atrium of the Disney Wonder. This is kind of the last party where you get to see the characters before tomorrow morning when everybody has to get off the ship. This is the sad going away party. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, once again, thank you so much for joining us here this evening. Yep. Back to our room for the last night and you will see the towel animal is a crab and his eyes are the Ghirardelli chocolates that are on the bed of Disney Cruise Line every night. That is super, super fun. Hey Sherry, mm -hmm. when we get home, will you make towel animals on our bed every night? Um, no. Why? I don't know. How. I've grown accustomed to a certain level of service. Correct. So have I. So what are you going to do? I will make it. Mickey waffles every morning? You will. And you do towel animals? Maybe? Mm. Well friends, uh, final night on our Disney cruise is here and has come to a close. We just finished the See You Real Soon party. Sherry Beth, thoughts on this Disney cruise? Uh, this one seemed to go by faster even though it was longer. So the first cruise we did was a three night cruise. Second cruise was a four night. This was a five night. 
And I agree. Just like it flew. flew by so fast. Yeah. Uh, this was a great cruise, though. First time cruising with friends, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I love, and we'll talk more about this in future vlogs, but one of the things that I love most about cruising is that you can have the type of vacation you want to have. Mm -hmm. And so there were four of us in our party, and I feel like each of us had the opportunity and the chance to do the things that we wanted on vacation, right? Mm -hmm. You can stay as busy as you want or be as relaxed as you want. Mm -hmm. um, there's always something to do, but you also always have the opportunity and the option to do nothing. <laughs> so I really loved that. Um, mm -hmm. You guys know we love Disney Cruises. Uh, this was another amazing experience. It already gets me excited for what our next cruise will be. I'm excited yes. to start planning that, like get home and like look at dates and look at ships and look at itineraries. <laughs> Ah, but you guys, as always, uh, thank you so much for tagging along with us. And I want to say this. I said this in an earlier uh, vlog on this trip. Um, so many of you guys came up to us on this cruise um, mm -hmm. and just had like the nicest things to say that you watched our vlogs. And we know that most people find our vlogs because of Disney Cruise. Mm -hmm. uh, but people who said, you know what, we chose this cruise because of a video you made. Or <laughs> we, we wanted to go on the Disney Wonder because of videos you made. Or once we booked our cruise, like we started watching your videos and they were helpful. Thank you. Like, you guys have no idea what that means <laughs> to us. Uh, we, we record, love we love it so much. We mm -hmm. record these and put them out there and we hope that you enjoy them. We hope that they're helpful. <laughs> Uh, and so to get to actually meet so many of you, uh, I tried to count, and I think it was like 20 people who came up to us just in the last five days on this boat alone who recognized us from YouTube and just said thanks and said hi. So to all of you <laughs> watching, thank you. It really meant the world to us. Sorry you had to watch me scarf down a corn dog and eat so many ice creams and plates <laughs> of food at Cabanas. It's just what you do on a cruise. Uh, but thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us and being a part of our journey. Um, it might be just a little while until our next Disney cruise, but we are definitely going to be back oh, yeah. on a Disney ship. Love you guys, and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video. Mm -hmm.